All right, so welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Wingspan European Expansion. I've been looking forward to this for quite a while. And uh, <laughs> I happen to really love this species of owl here, the snowy owl. So I wonder if, the, uh, I'm guessing that this is one of the birds that will be in this expansion since, since they put it on the front cover of the box. So let's see what we have in this expansion for wingspan. There we go. So I guess that is the way we want to look at it. Once again, we got another uh, roll book in a very comfortable feeling um, uh, roll book, so that's nice. Looks like it comes with uh, these purple looking eggs. Comes with uh, 81 new bird cards. Oh yeah, sweet. It's got more food tokens by the looks of it. Five new bonus cards. Uh, four new cards for Automa if you play a solo. That's what those are for. It's also got a custom tray lid and a new score pad. So um, even though uh, you can still use the score pad for the other wingspan, if you're playing with uh, this expansion, uh, you'll definitely want to make sure you use the notepad from this expansion. And then it also has uh, one reference tile and five new uh, goal tiles as well. So that's pretty cool. And I'm sure it has all of the information on how the bird powers work in this expansion. So, that's cool. So, lots of stuff. Alright, let's see here. Well, here's our new eggs. They're purple. Very purple. So I wonder if there's a particular uh, significance with these particular eggs. If there's mate, there might be, I don't know. But I mean, other than that, they look sort of like the normal eggs from the uh, core game. So it's possible that you'll, you can still use these um, like any other egg. But maybe there's another power that works with these particular eggs. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. I didn't really look at uh, uh, any reviews for this expansion. So this will be all new stuff for me. Here's our uh, score pad. So, looks it looks pretty much the same as uh, the original score pad. It looks it looks pretty much the same, I think. Um, so I don't know why, uh, unless they just figured you might want some more of these. So, at least uh, if that's the case, at least that means I've got. Lots and lots more notepad uh, paper to work with, so I won't be printing. Um, I won't be printing any of these off anytime soon because I'll have still have this copy. So maybe I you don't. Maybe, maybe there isn't a uh, new type of scoring. Obviously. So here's the cards. We'll open them in a moment. Here we have. Uh, this is obviously going to be for the food tokens, um, or the other stuff. Uh, so we have some more trays, obviously. So that's cool. Um, let's just see, let's see here. Uh, hold on. Okay, so here's our tray, and obviously, um, it's purple. The last tray was blue, so you can use this tray now if you want for the cards instead of the blue one, I suppose. So that's kind of cool. Gives you some options. And you'll put the cards in here. And here's our punch-outs. So we have more food tokens. Yay! Some more bonus tokens, awesome. Uh, end of round score, I mean, tokens. And so that's pretty cool. So let's see what we have for cards. Okay, so here we have uh, the Eastern Imperial Eagle. 
and another species of eagle, and a harrier, and a buzzard. Ooh, red kite. That's a bird of prey there. Eurasian hobby. European goldfinch. The snow bunting. Ooh, and you look at this. This is a new type of uh, ability here. I'm so not sure what that does yet. I'll have to look and see what these new abilities do. But uh, uh, we've 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 always had pink abilities, and so we have a few more, obviously. And we always have brown abilities, but uh, these blue abilities, uh, I don't know anything about them. So a new type of ability. Let's see. Oh, round end. So it's a um, it's an ability that's going to activate at the end of a round. Well, that's kind of interesting. So there's something else to do at the end of the round. I'm guessing I'm guessing now you'll have if you have these birds in in your uh, aviary on your player board, uh you're going to get a, a particular cool something with a particular bird uh with these uh, round end abilities. So that's pretty cool. I like that. So we have the crow and we have a Eurasian collared dove. And a common starling. Trying not to cover up anything on the cards. Common swift. The uh, house sparrow. The rough. Never heard of that bird before. Ooh, we have a flamingo now. A greater flamingo. And a gull. And another bird there, the goose, another one of those end round abilities, and a warbler, a warbler. ooh, the Eurasian green woodpecker, oh well, that's kind of cool, I like that one a lot, cool, and then here's our new goals, uh, citizens, uh, citizen scientist, behaviorist, Diet specialist, bird bander, <laughs> bird banding, um, ethologist, ethologist, I'm guessing, and an, a wick. I'm, I'm, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna bother trying to pronounce that. And a raspberry life fellow or a raspberry. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that either. Hmm. So and then the Atama stuff. I think. In fact, actually, I think this is for Atama. And I think this is for Atama too. Yeah, I think these are for Atama. So these are, I guess, uh, bonus cards for just Atama if you're playing the solo, which is new because Atama never had bonus cards of its own. So now it gets its own bonus cards. I think that's pretty cool. It'll make it much harder to beat Atama if you play solo. That's pretty cool. All right, so we have the Eurasian Magpie. And another blue ability, too. Carrion Crow. Griffin Vulture. Ooh, the Coal Tit. I've heard of that species of bird before. The European Nuthatch. Or should I say the Eurasian Nuthatch. The Eurasian Nutcracker. Ooh, a Shriek or a Shrike. Red-backed Shrike. Ooh, I like this one. This is one of my favorites. The Common Kingfisher. Awesome. The Little Owl. Gotta love them. The Eurasian Jay. The White Stork. The White-Throated Dipper. A Petrel, huh? A Grebe. Ooh, this is a common little bittern. Bittern. Another. That's a heron? It's called a heron. Doesn't exactly look like a real heron, but apparently it is. So that's a heron. Huh. A mute swan. That's what you need. If you don't want to... Swans making a lot of noise in your backyard. Get yourself a mute swan. <laughs> the gray heron. A cuckoo. 
Another bird I don't know much about. A red start. Ooh. <laughs> James Bond would love this one. The Common Golden Eye. Oh, I love rollers. Do you know why they call them rollers? Because they can actually roll in mid-flight. They're re really, 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 really cool. Really cool. Oh, yes. Very, very cool. Your European roller. Huh. It's beautiful, too. They also live in Africa. Uh, so, uh, if they ever make a Africa expansion, I'm sure we'll see more roller species. But, man, it's beautiful, isn't it? And yeah, they that's how they got their name, because they sort of like roll. That's really cool. And that's not all. There's still more. That's about maybe a little over half. There we go. Ooh, bee eaters. Oh, I was hoping they would be in this one. They eat bees. European bee eaters. They really do eat bees. Beautiful birds, for sure. And they're they're all over the place. You can find them in Asia. You can find them in Africa, uh, Europe. And I think you can even find them in Australia. Not sure on that one, but I think you can find them in Australia. Different species, obviously. Ah, yes, there's my favorite, favorite bird in the whole expansion, for sure. The snowy owl. I got to see these at a zoo once, and at the Bronx Zoo in uh, New York City. Oh, it was awesome. It was cold outside. It was the, the, the zoo was covered in snow. It was freezing wind. You opened up your mouth, and your teeth would just literally shatter from the, from the pain of... The wind below, the cold wind blowing on your teeth, so you couldn't breathe through your nose, but you couldn't really breathe with your op with your mouth open either. So, so we were suffering, and I usually don't go, don't you usually get cold, but my teeth were definitely suffering. And uh, we saw these guys outside in their enclosure, and they were just having the time of their lives. <laughs> so I'm glad somebody was. So snowy owls, really, really cool bird. My favorite in the whole expansion. Ooh, we have a godwits bird. They're a type of uh, wader bird. Uh, wader as in sort of a uh, shore bird. That's another name for them, I believe. They uh, use their long beaks. They can go pretty far down into the sand on the shoreline to get well, all the little grubs and stuff that they want. There's lots of different species of them, too. Ooh, it's a gannet. Uh, gannets are uh, seabirds. Northern Gannet. And that's the last one, folks. That's all of the new uh, birds in this expansion. So thank you, for guys, for watching this unboxing video. And uh, look forward to a future video on um, an in-depth explanation of uh, what these birds do, for sure. And there was, so good, there was definitely a few awesome birds that I really, really like, just species-wise, in this expansion. That uh, European, I mean, the Eur Eurasian roller was definitely one of them. The snowy owl was another one, obviously. Uh, the bee eater, definitely that one. Uh, so there was quite a few new birds that I was hoping to see, and I was happy to see them in this expansion. So, definitely a cool, cool, cool uh, new little expansion. Let's hope they keep making more of these expansions because I want to see birds from Africa. I want to see birds from Australia. And I definitely want to see birds from South America too. And Asia, for sure. So hopefully they'll continue to make these expansions, add new birds, 
and maybe even new powers as well because the uh, round end is definitely a new power so I look forward to playing with these especially so thank you guys for watching see you guys next time